the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Rita, pray for us in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Okay, good morning, girls. So today is the um, first day of February. I do hope you still have the energy and the enthusiasm to learn. No, um, we still have at least two more months to go. Mahomani siyang a month, and we still have two more months, no, before the end of the semester. And you will now be heading to your um, senior year or fourth year college, no. So time goes by so fast, no. So third year, magkaron. Um, in a June or July this year, you are now fourth year students. No, so kaan um ano ra kapas pas no sa una pilara takabuo no so do not worry about tolura mo or yes oh tolura mo because mudunga naman sila ni Julieta and sila ni Jill may after nila matik tong ilahang wala na take before no kaysa kandir man si Julieta mix sa second year and first year and third year no kaya naman siya mga subjects in all three um, year levels and then si Jill may no sa koan siya first year and then she will just come back no inika fourth year okay so before you will start I'll be showing you a video I'll just copy the link and send it here sa Miss A uh, sa Google Meet. I do hope that you can open your messages and click on the link that I will be posting in the messages. Okay, so nagpost na ko og link uh, messages. Please watch the video. It will only take at least 5 minutes and 10 seconds. Then please come come back to this room for we will be discussing um some few um few questions about the video and then we will start with my discussion for this morning. Okay, is that clear? Third year? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, please tell me if did you click ang link sa, mes uh, sa messages diri sa Google Meet Hub so that I will also send a link on the GC. Okay, so your time um, starts now. I'll get back to you after 5 minutes and 10 seconds. In 2019, the World Health Organization estimated that there are about 1 billion migrants in the world, nearly 1 in 8 people. This means that more than ever before, we live in societies made out of many cultures, and this diversity can be a beautiful thing. In Australia, Harmony Day is celebrated on the 21st of March each year and aims to grow inclusiveness, respect, and a sense of belonging for everyone. But the very fact that this cause needs to be fought for implies that it's not something everyone naturally does. Cultures can have very fundamental differences, and this can lead to stereotypes, prejudice, and discrimination. I spoke in a previous video lesson about how stereotypes can be understood using the tri-component model of attitudes. You can probably see how it can be applied to the way cultural groups perceive each other. It's not difficult for prejudice to occur in how individuals might think or feel about people in another group, and this can lead to discrimination in their behavior. However, some factors make prejudice more likely to happen. For example, a cultural insensitivity or lack of awareness. There are often cultural reasons why a person may choose not to eat a certain food or work on a certain day. But if someone else didn't know that, they might assume that the person was being unnecessarily fussy or lazy. Different cultures may also have different approaches to completing tasks or making decisions. For example, in indigenous Australian culture, big decisions are only made after a majority has been reached in the clan. This can be frustrating for someone who doesn't understand this cultural norm and perhaps comes from a more individualistic culture where everyone makes their own decisions. And finally, differences in verbal and nonverbal communication styles can also result in potential conflict. All this conflict and frustration that can arise due to these factors may result in the formation of stereotypes, which in turn may develop into prejudice. 
When it comes to issues of cultural diversity, this prejudice may be expressed as xenophobia, ethnocentrism, and racism. Let's look at each of those. Xenophobia can be described as the fear of or strong animosity towards people of different races or cultural backgrounds. For some people, this is a default position. They're often really just afraid of the impact that the foreign cultural ideals might have on the status quo in the majority culture. However, this ends up leading to an immediate distrust of any culture apart from their own. Ethnocentrism is another expression of this, the belief that your own ethnicity or culture is superior to all the others. This can be used to justify excluding other cultures into society or wanting to stop immigrants altogether. And finally, racism, which are negative emotions or actions towards someone simply based on their race. It's similar to ethnocentrism in that there's the belief that one's own race is the most superior. In 2018, a manager at Starbucks in the United States called the police on two African-American men in her store who were waiting for their friend to arrive for a meeting. She will later argue that they hadn't bought anything and were just sitting in the store, but the two men ended up getting arrested by the police and removed, although they ended up not being charged with anything. There were other customers who filmed the event and told the media that they had not bought anything either, but had not been asked to leave. Even if there were various factors at play, one of them was almost definitely the race of the two men. The woman might argue that she wasn't trying to be a racist, but racism can be expressed in different ways. Again, from a previous lesson, we saw that the attitudes that people hold can be explicit or implicit, visible or unseen. Explicit racism is easy to spot and unfortunately still very present in our world today. It's blatant discrimination against a group of people based solely on their race. Examples of explicit racism include the actions of hate groups such as neo-Nazis and white nationalists, racial slurs or derogatory terms, or when people openly talk negatively about particular cultural groups. Political parties can also express racist policies and openly attack certain cultures. But implicit racism is harder to detect because it's often unconscious or concealed. However, it still ends up impacting the judgments and decisions that people make towards people from different cultures or ethnic groups. The Starbucks manager may have acted the way she did out of implicit racism. Other examples include police pulling drivers over due to the color of their skin, people mistrusting those who look different from them, juries being more likely to pronounce a suspect as guilty based on their race, and more. A month after the incident, Starbucks closed all 8,000 of the US stores for four hours to conduct training specifically aimed at reducing implicit racism and indeed, and indeed implicit bias of any kind. Stores in Canada followed suit not long after. But was that enough? Many experts suggest that racism is embedded far deeper than a single workshop can reveal. A continued effort must be made if we're to address racism, both explicit and implicit, as one of the main challenges that cultural diversity presents. Is it possible for Harmony Day to be every day? We may not know, but it's definitely worth trying. topics ng iyang na mention. Joy Joy. Go on the no season. Racism. And other one. Name mo to sa isa. Phobia, xenophobia. Oh, okay. So and xenophobia. Okay, so um why do you think no na there is a conflict no true to the um diverse cultural community no pars anang xenophobia um ethnocentrism no racism nga wherein one culture feels indifferent to another culture or nay uban nga they fear the other culture kay tungod it's very strong no an example of that is kana ganing um white americans no discriminating black americans and you also have even in the time of covid no you have um americans no and uh, discriminating um asian um asian communities or asian people no because of their race no kay tungod sila lagi nagdala ko no og covid no? so um why do you think no nga naay conflict ana nga murag makuan sila ma 
ma feel indifferent sila sa usa ka culture what do you think is the main reason no nga mark dili sila ginahan sa usa ka culture or mahadlok sila why do you think so you can unmute your microphone Anjali Sa ilang kuandam, skin color, sa ilang hang kuandam. Depende mang mudang good. Mm -mm. In what way man? Sige. Uh, depende sa physical appearance or diba sa kuandam, sa ilang hang mga action, mga mga sinul si andam. Mm -mm. So, other cultures can feel indifferent towards another, no? Because they look different, no? Sa ilahang na andan. At the same time, no? Lahi ang ilang sinultian or they come up as strong, no? So, other cultures would feel nga they are superior. That is why, no? Kaya, uh, like, most especially, no? Um, uh, not to discriminate Americans, no? But, there are some, no? Nga, who does not embrace other cultures because they feel nga they are the superior culture, no? And, ilang ginabuat na is they discriminate um, other cultures. Now, why do you think no Harmony Day in in Australia no is being celebrated no despite na there is a conflict no in different cultures? But what does Harmony Day represent? What do you think nga or why do you think nga celebrate no ang Harmony Day sa ilaha nga lugar? No, knowing nga all around the world there is still um, conflicts in cultures, no? Alin lain nga diverse culture, di magkasinabot, pero why do you think there is still a celebration of Harmony Day? What does it represent? Okay, let's ask Harabe. I do hope she's done with the video. Barveline, are you around? Yes, stop. Okay, so despite no, you've seen in the video nga nga there's a lot of conflict no due to different cultures no nga di sila magkasinabot no um some other cultures feel indifferent with another culture, but why do you think Harmony Day in Australia is still celebrated? Feel ko dum kasi ano they think of ano are celebrating other cultures more often so walang racism in their county i think them or okay or because um they want to have peace in the world na they show the world that they have respect from other cultures mm, okay so um Elaine, I would like to ask you, no, based on the explain sa video and you've seen some examples no sa video, do you think um ethnocentrism, xenophobia and racism is a good thing? No? Do you think all of those uh, yeah. No dumb kasi that's parang you're judging their your their ano, culture and their selves. Parang you judge for ibang tao dumb. Parang that's unfair for them. They were born like this. They were born in that country. They they were born in that culture, and we need to respect their culture. You know okay, thank you. So, um, thank you, girls. No, all of you have um explained very well. No, um, based on your reaction on that video, and although no, this video compared to kung I discuss ron, um, connected man siya, but di mo kumu talk about racism, ethnocentrism, and xenophobia karong adlaw. I'll be just be talking about. Um, how did multiculturalism came to be? No, and um, in that video, kung unang ipakita, it came to be because of like globalization. No, we are open to more countries and people migrate. No, katong dimension niya nga because people migrate. No, um, you have friends who are from um, Canada. You have friends from Europe. No, you have friends from other parts in Asia. No, they tend to migrate to different countries. No, to stay there and have a better life. No, even ito ako ka sa sa US di ba no like kita ni mugla inlain ng ng ako ang class ng nationalities no ma kita ka Indians ma kita ka ang Filipinos no ma kita ka ang kanang um no daghan no dilit lang kan even Mexicans no daghan ka ayos sila sa US it is because no they would like to migrate to a sustainable or let's say um a country ng where in 
um, their economy is stable. No, kay they would like to have a better life, a better, a better future. No, they would like to work in abroad because mas mayo man ang kinabuhi dito. That is why no na ay multi uh, multicultural diversity. But because no, there is a fusion or let's say no in a place no nga for example purely inhabited by um white American or white people yung masagulan sa laglain-lain nga mga tao no with different physical appearance different personalities no they would feel sometimes uncomfortable and they would feel indifferent no and sometimes no cultural diversity can be a source of conflict most especially no katong natabo nga naay racism naay ethnocentrism naay xenophobia because maluk sila nga oy nala gini mo yung ani nga mga tao gud ka puyo sa tong lugar unya i'm not comfortable with with them because they have the they have different cultures compared to mine and ang ila pong mindset pa jud is masup mas superior pa jud ang ilahang culture compared sa katong mga minor cultures nganing abot sa ilang lugar no which is wrong no because you do not ho- have ownership jud nga kanang ah because i'm this no i uh, i own no this place no dili man no um we share the same world no and we have the right no to be anywhere in the country as long as we coexist no dili lang ta makasakit og laing tao so mo na siya class no, nakita na ninyo nga maski ang uban nga wala sila ginabuhat no katong mga black americans and it's really a very common issue um in the states class nga wala sila ginabuhat lingkod ra sila nya labi nang kanang mga Oh, ginatawag na to sila as Karen no? kung sa ato pa mga Marites no ang mga Karens nila dito kay kanang manawag dayon og 911 or police kay dili sila ginahan nga naali to Black American galingkod kay suspicious kuno kaayo or even nari usa nga kanang para sa to sa ka video po nakita na ko nga nag naglakaw ra siya no ang Black American sa dalan unya nasuko na din tong babae no nga dili kuno siya allowed no to 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 walk on that street no and and it's very difficult no nga nga ang ana ang sitwasyon sa ilaha just because they look different no and they speak different no? because lahi man ang ilahang way of speaking compared to white americans diba so if um the country is much kinder no katong ingon sa last video nga if ginapractice lang sa world ang harmony day every day wherein we embrace different cultures no from from different places and different people no despite nga wala man sila gipanganak diri sa amo ang lugar pero diri siya gapuyo no um nakighalubil siya sa amo ah, then the world would be a better place diba so the main reason why we study multicultural diversity in the workplace class it's because to avoid no being a racist no to avoid certain thoughts like xenophobia and ethnocentrism no and for us to be more open no and and i do understand no because as filipinos we are always open no rare ka ata mo discriminate og other people and because kita man mismo i discriminate diba so when it comes to racism um xenophobia and ethnocentrism that is not actually an issue for us no because um we are of a minor culture no and sometimes kita pa gani ang gina discriminate but still ginatudlo ra japon niya nga subject sa inyo ha because to fully understand nga embracing multicultural diversity does not only limit to the physical appearance but also even people with different um ideas no different personalities so i'll be sharing my screen with you Okay. So, we will now be um talking about the no, theories of international tourism and where did multicultural diversity come from? So, after completing this chapter, you should be able to understand the concept of cultural diversity which you already know already, no? Na mention naman ako na sa previous discussions and learn how cultural diversity enriches a tourism business environment and provides it with competitive advantage. Nowadays, the more um open you are to different cultures and the more you embrace cultural diversity the more it is an advantage to your establishment because if you are an establishment that is racist no or um you you feel indifferent or if you are a hotel that feels indifferent to other foreigners and that's not a very good hotel no because of course people travel a lot no and you will be meeting a lot of foreigners and they may ingon nga you have beef you will be selective nga oy this is only a a filipino only hotel no dili man taing ana no in our industry we are open to diversity 
So, understand why managing a multicultural workforce in the tourism and hospitality industry presents both opportunities and challenges. So, in a globalized world where we are open, no, you know, people migrate all the time. No, because again, as what I've mentioned, no, naghan man gusto nga ma-asenso ang ilang kinabuhi. That is why um, they would prefer to travel or migrate to another country to have a better life. No, and ang uban pud nga mga kanu no they would prefer um working here no in the Philippines because not only nga ko na kayo class no ang expenses diri dili kay nga nakamahal if you go to, to to cities like New York no um in in the US where, where rent is expensive food is expensive no kana ilang salary dito dili siya magdugay pero diri no it's just a couple of dollars tako na kayo siya og exchange diri sa ato ah. at, at, at the same time no um nay uban gani nga endowed with a lot of skills no mula kalabanan sa mga international hotels class no nga nay mga international chains gina rotate sila nya nay mga may mga foreigner nga mga mga heads or or managers kay tungod um kon man no kanang they practice multicultural diversity and at the same time um equipped with the right skills naman ang mga foreigner dito nga managers no to work here in the Philippines Okay, so understanding uh, in the reality, you know, more workers and more customers are coming from diverse cultural backgrounds, most especially in our industry. So understanding those who are culturally different will present a, a global challenge to the tourism and hospitality companies that compete in a global marketplace. Because of course, not only that you will only uh, not only that you will have to be mindful of what you're going to um or how you're going to present yourself, no? Sa mga tourists nimo with different cultures, nga, you do not offend them, no? Kaya, yung mga times nga, kanang nakay mabuhat niya, maka-offend ay sa ilahang culture, not only nga muna ang imuhang bantayan, but also class, no? You need to also be mindful of their diet, no? Ilang mga preferences, importante ka, no? Because, of course, no? At mga services sa hotel is both accommodation and even food. So, nayuban nga ka ng, most especially coming from a Muslim country, no, niya, dili sila comfortable around pork. No, ka ng mga, nga ng dili, ang mga bawal sa ilaha nga, mga pagkaon, no. So, opo na siya. So, daghan kita i-consider, no, in our industry. Not just how we treat our guests, um, like, how we greet, or how we take care of them, but at the same time, even pag-abot po sa ilahang mga, mga diet, no, preferences. Okay. Wait lang for a while. I will accept Angel Angeline. So, what is the definition of cultural diversity? It's often referred to as a variety of human groups, societies, or cultures in a specific region um, or in the world as a whole. Wait lang for a while, ha? Maliibs ako sa osa. Okay. So, let's go back. So, it's the mosaic of individuals and groups with varying backgrounds, characteristics, um, values, beliefs, customs, and traditions. So, differences in race, ethnicity, nationality, religion, or language among various groups within a community, organization, or nation. And cultural diversity means the variety of multiformity of human social structures, belief systems, and strategies for adapting to situations in different parts of the world. So, in a cultural diverse um, community, no, it's a combination of people from different nationalities, ethnicities, different cultures, no, uh, with not just within a community, but even within the organization. Okay, so interpretation of cultural diversity. The difference between people indicate that people are not homogeneous, no? So people are not just a, a uniform group of people. No, kay mumani kalabanan class good, no? Nga na ay reason for racism, ethnocentrism kato na kita nyo sa video. Kaya tungod na iubal nga culture nga feel nila nga dili sila dapat matinted no kana feel nila nga dapat pure jud ta nga ing ani tatanan no walay masagol sa ato a kay tungod um, we are the supreme cultures no kana sila mga minor cultures naman na sila no that is why racism exists because people feel nga nga they are homogeneous no nga uh, kanil yung mga same people with the same characteristics should live together and they are not open to people who look different because 
they feel nga people should not be heterogeneous which is wrong no um even sa tong fingerprints itself no each individual has a different fingerprint masking twins pa na sila because it represents that we are a heterogeneous group no we have we are different individuals with different characteristics and different personalities no natabo po ni one time um so world war no we're in si hitler um ang, ang reason pod class nga grabe jud ihan genocide sa una kay tungod uh, you know yung mga experiments sa una class nyo during his time because he would like to create a superior race nga wherein yellow ang hair um or blonde ang hair and then blue ang eyes and Caucasian sila so muna kalabanan no kanang mga twins or na siya may experiments nga were in, i-breed niya ang mga nga same og, og physical appearance, no? Kay, ginahan siya nga, usan rin sila og naong tanan, no? Kanang marag dool ra, which is wrong, no? Um, what makes it colorful or what makes life beautiful if if we live in a society where in it's full of people with different um, personalities, no? And even different physical appearance, no? Heterogeneous. So, culture, uh, Cultural diversity means multiculturalism. So, multiculturalism is an ideology advocating that society should consist of at least or even allow no, distinct cultural and religious groups with equitable status. Uh, that's why I was really glad no, nga, we are open also to our Muslim brothers and sisters where they can also enroll um, in our institution. No? Although, no, there is um, a principle nga, wherein no, we need to, to cat, uh, catechize no, or... Um, to encourage them not to listen to but I actually believe kay ko nila class no kay I have students um sa una katong wala pa ko sa college no nag advisor ko senior high um I have two students who are Muslims but they're actually eager to learn theology and I was like kang dili siya murag kanang koan sa inyo hanga part na no? because it's a different religion so is it okay no? but it doesn't mean nga kanang koan ko nila murag nga kanang I was really amazed no of how open they were and and how they memorize prayers no even ko nga dili siya kanang murag a betrayal to your religion to do that dili naman ma basta as long as I know that I'm a good person that is true no that is um an open person no nga dili ka ma offend or dili ka dali makuan no, and that is a, a good practice nga. You're open to other cultures, other religions, and you do not discriminate them. No, you're even willing to study them. Because you feel nga, you do not betray your religion. Ay, mura is ka nang kuan, no? Ka nang, wala man siya ingon nga, nag-devote ako, nag-devote jugo sa kong time, ano nga religion, ma'am. I just, I'm curious na dyan ko, dayon. Pero wala lang ko gibetray ko, because I still believe in our God, no? I still believe, ano nga religion, no? Stronger siya pa na kong faith sa mong religion, niya. Yeah. I just did this out of curiosity or na na. No, wala may blasphemous about that. I didn't um, think of any ill or speak of any ill about my own religion while learning other religions no? or learning other cultures. And at the same time, kuan sila, no, kanang, wala kong ginahan po, no, sa ilahang duha because when we talk about, oh, ang sama na to, ang kuan sa Christmas party, ay, hala, dili ta mag-pork ha, kaya naatay ko. So, ma'am, okay na ma'am, basta, kanang ila la inon ra among pagkaon no dili rami makuan nya na no so um na may muslim sing ana class so kanang very open and modern kaayo sila i do not know i'm not an expert po no um maybe some of of the things i said is offensive for other um other muslim or other of our muslim brothers and sisters pero ang importante lang is maayo mga tawo ko mga estudyante no and i really respect no their openness and i, I was really amazed of their openness no so ing ana Okay, racism only exists if you feel indifferent, if you feel that you are superior than other cultures. So, multiculturalism is also equivalent to interculturalism. Okay, so how did the concept of cultural, cultural diversity develop? So, where did cultural diversity come from? So, since humans spread are spread throughout the world because of globalization, they tend to migrate, to look for jobs, to settle down, or sometimes they have interracial marriages, no? Kanaganing one race marries another, so like Asian and Caucasian or African and Asian, no? So, tendency, no? they tend to adapt to different conditions, different um, places, no? and even climate changes. So, muna, because of that, because people migrate and they are spread all throughout the world, nakatag sila tanan, so, this is where cultural diversity was developed. How does one measure cultural diversity? So, as long as a community, no, 
is diverse when it comes to races. No, it's a combination of different races, different nationalities, religions, and languages, and that is a culturally diverse um, group. Even no, see how sexes age culturally. The, uh, uh, diverse po na siyang grupo, no? And even nila yung nagbatasan, no? Diverse po na siya. So, is cultural diversity important? The conversation of many different cultures is as important to humankind as the conversation of species and ecosystems to life. No? And because, no? If we practice cultural diversity and we embrace that, then we can coexist with one another and there is no discrimination, no? And it is very um, important, no? Because when we share resources despite of our differences no we help one another despite of our differences and we can coexist in one ecosystem and we can oh na, coexist margin ang pinaka importante coexist and help one another despite of our differences okay the benefits of cultural diversity cultural diversity simulates greater innovation ano man, no? because one country um will share their resources to another country like for example they sa ato ang race or kung ano, kanang medyo dili pa kita develop, then tabangan ta sa uban, that would also contribute innovation, no? Um, creativity and responsiveness to consumer demands and changing environments. So, the influence of cultural diversity on tourism and hospitality to manage culturally different employees and attract different customers. So, again, no? In cultural diversity in the tourism and hospitality industry, you both manage not just your customers nga gikan sa inlain nga lugar but even your employees no who are from different family background and who have different family backgrounds no who are from different places and even from different cultures no and even from different pajud nga mga lugar and lain-lain pajud ang ilahang ethnicity and nationality no so samot pajud ta magmanage ato ang mga employees okay so, the UNESCO Universal Declaration on Cultural Diversity states that intercultural dialogue and respect for cultural diversity and tolerance are essential to building world peace. And that is true. No? If katong mga nakita ninyo, katong mga racist kayo class nga mo discriminate sa oban nga culture, no? Magkita jug away, no? Kahit sa lagi na ng obang culture, ila jung ibuli. If mawala lang na siya class and if people learn to coexist with one another, respect other cultures, then that is essential for world peace. Okay, so under Article 1, cultural diversity is the common heritage of humanity. From cultural diversity to cultural pluralism, cultural diversity is a factor in development. Human rights as guarantees of cultural diversity and cultural rights as an enabling environment for cultural diversity. Under um, Article 6, toward access for all cultural diversity. 7. Cultural heritage as a wellspring of creativity, cultural goods and services, commodities of a unique kind, and nine, cultural policies as catalysts of creativity, and ten, strengthening capacities for creation and dissemination worldwide, and eleven, building partnership between the public sector and the private, of course, sector. So, all of those things, class, no? Kita ni mo sa 11 articles ni UNESCO, Universal Declaration of On Cultural Diversity. Um, kani siya nga mga declarations, no? Ni mga articles. These are important, um, of course, no? To informing not just a certain country, but all countries, no? Are encouraged, no? To practice um, cultural diversity. No? Nya, if ever gani nga these are violated, of course, no? Dili mo nga nga punishment, pero... Of course, no, there will be warnings, no, there will be investigations. Kay mo ba ang gina, gina encourage jud nila, no? Kay um, nowadays, no, nga open na jud kaayta sa lain nga countries. It's vital nga dili ta kanang inclusive, no? Rather, ah, oh, inclusive, dili ta exclusive, no? Rather, we are inclusive. Balih na noon, okay? How much more, I don't know. We are quite thankful because Biden is the new president and he is really quite open. No? Um, although, I don't know, mga restrictions because of the COVID, but he is not a very, uh, he's not a racist um, president. No, And, of course, if you have a, a leader who is not racist, no, the people will, sh will surely follow. But, um, the US is actually divided into two mangod class. No, You have, of course, kana mangod sila duha puno na, sila Republicans, no, um, nya lahi po dang ilahang paagi dito sa pag-vote no so muna siya 
duha na Republicans and Dominicans mo susok kong utok ko, pwede rin siya mao. Alimot ko sa usa. But of course, ang importante raman ana class, no? Ginsa pa na ang ilahang ko, um, ah, demo- Democrats, eh, sorry, Republicans and Democrats. So, ang plato rin anak class, no? Bottom line, no? Regardless if if ang leader is racist or not, no? Ang importante na ang mga tao rin mismo, no? Kay, kan manggod, no? Most especially, dito rin sa US, kalabanan ako, mabantayan, class, ka grabe rin kailang racism dito, no? Na uban nga, kuan ka ayo no? Kanang, Alang way of thinking, kanay white supremacist, no? May yung gitag white supremacist, ganit class ka nang kuan, ka na, no, na, feel nila nga ang mga puti ra, ang dapat mo, mo, kuan, mo reign supreme or superior, no? Niya, mo, kuan na din sila. Mo look down din sa sa uban ng mga races, no? Uncomfortable kayo sila, mo nawag silag police, no? So, delete dapat. No, see? So, yan na palang daan, no? Mga create of conflict. So, walay world peace palang anak daan, no? Masking, nya, hassle kayo siya, class, no? Kanang, even ka ng mga ubang police brutality, no? Like, na mga, mga cops who are also um, white supremacists, no? Nga, nga, kuan, nga, makita sila, o ka ng negro feel nila, kay kuan na dayon, ka ng criminal, no? Manawag, kuan din, nila da yung ka ng, prisohon, no, or ilahang awayun, no, masking wala regi buhat nga bati. Okay, the future of cultural diversity. The importance of cultural diversity for global business will grow in significance. There are several reasons for this, no, increasing multicultural workforce. So, again, no one is indispensable. And, for example, if we only hire people who are white or who are only Filipinos and we do not open and we do not open ourselves to other kinds of employees, no? So, ano kayo, no? Wala, wala diversity sa ato ang workforce. But, um, if we are open no, to cultural diversity, then we have a workforce who are from different cultures, no? So, very multicultural kayo ang ato ang environment. Okay, growing international ownership. Increase migration. No? Because this country is quite open to other countries, so, why not migrate, no, to this country? Yung uban masuko kay lahat ko nung country nyo, i-take over ko nung sa uban nga culture, dili pwede ka nang puyo rin sila dito, no, kay to look for a better life. Uh, changes in demographics. Uban manggod ka na, magoy mag sense of ownership, good nga ma-offend sila. No, uh, in the first place, the main reason why we live together in one world is to coexist together, not have some form of ownership nga. Um, kuan may romance may we own this place or we conquer this place, no, no one should ever um, take it from us. Dili mo na yung anak sa po silita ni, no? So, changes in demographics. So, those are some of the examples in the future of cultural diversity. Okay. So, I'll just stop here. Hindi, gamay na lang makaayo, no? So, Marina lang next. Because you'll proceed with um, organiz- uh, sorry, operations management. So you will stop for five minutes.